Yeah, so what time is it? It's like 12.30? No, by lunchtime. About lunchtime, 11.30. So we want to get going, so slowly start packing up. And um, I start with my eye camper. Yes, yeah, so we haven't really shown that before, Jake, have we? Yeah. No, not really. So I had all my stuff in there for two days, so I want to take it out. And uh, yeah, so I just had my sleeping bag in there. And you got an air, you're using an air mattress as well? Yeah, an air mattress on top. Get more comfort. And it work, works very good. Still a lot of room in there. I got my so 12. So you're just using it with an air mattress, eh? Hey? Yeah. Like that Snow Peak air mattress. Gives you another 40, 50 mils. Yeah. And right. just a little self-inflating mattress. That's the go, eh? Hey? That's it. And that works very good. Yeah. So I had a good sleep. And... Uh, yeah, just take that off. The other one, close to the fire, a bit of ash on there, but doesn't matter. So we got these ones closed up. All right, that's loose. Same on the other side. All right, so. Down. Push that over. Just uh, if you if you leave the front door closed when you fold it over, it takes a while to, you know, it makes it all more complicated to stuff all the things from the sides in. I'll get a little strip here. Right. Usually that is door. Front. You haven't left anything in there, Jacob. No, no, it's totally empty. So if you leave something in there, it's a bit more complicated to to uh, take it down. But now it's just it's just easy. There you go. Double check. Nothing hanging in. All good. This side. Make a little bit more. Yeah, that's it. So I need to readjust the the, the latches. So I left something in there before. I need a little bit more room, so just need to turn them down a bit. That's the new latch too, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's the new one. And there you can see it has a little bit of tension on this now, so that's what you need. Same with this one. So the back part of uh, the rooftop tent is where you store, where it's better to store your things because it's, uh, as you can see, the shape goes down a bit. So that's where you want to have your pillow and and all that stuff. So yeah, that will do. And I've got a key. I always lock them up. See. Pretty good spot for having the sledges. Once I was driving, wasn't sure if it's locked up. I just pulled out the window and tried it. Yeah, <laughs> it's all good. That's it. All right, let's see how long it takes to pack up the trailer. <laughs> so what we're going to do is, as you can see, our camp. It's still basically, it's all set up. The kitchen's all there. Everything. We haven't done anything really, except we have cleaned up. You know, so we've washed up and put things away. So it's not all. Uh, I washed up. Yeah, Jake's washed up. So everything's put away and the camp's tidy, but everything else is out. So we'll show you how long it takes to pack this setup up. <coughs> so let's get into it. Maybe, maybe you can do the tent as well. Later on, Cutter will swap over and you can do the tent. All right. So we'll do that, eh, Jake? Ready? All right, right. just let's do it. I'll move this pipe out of the way. Kitchen first? Yeah, I'll do the kitchen. You can move that over there, Jake. Yeah, right. So, we've got the barbecue. 
key box. Good to have that hand fitting, eh? Yeah, so good. Don't need a spanner. Got a little stove bag. This one. Windshield fits in there as well. Good little windshield, that one. Look at that. That's it. It's ready. Little box here. Get my gear in it. I've got plates and cups and fits neatly. Starting to sprinkle a little bit. Is it? Yeah, yep. I'm get this away before it rains. OGT4, OGT3. that canopy, eh? It's really easy to load in. Yeah. Look at that. IGT there. Chairs are on, on top, so they come in first. IGT is next to it. Kitchen just gives a little push. All right. Still got heaps of room in that storage box. Blocks. Yeah. So that's sort of the kitchen and our camp put away. I pick up the awning stack, so. Right, I've got the awning away now. So I'm just going to drop these poles. Thank you. 
Okay. Um, missed one. So uh, that's the gala? Yep. Yeah. Uh, that's easy. So we're just reducing the height of these poles, turning that up, so it's ready to go away. Do you want this one here first, Yeah. Up on there, Carter. And uh, this, this final one. Right and the last one looks good because it's shorter. Just pin clip that on. Two. Uh, wait. Pretty easy, eh? Mm. Uh, oh, yeah. If you have two people doing it, so easy. Alright, these piles can. We, we close the target there too. It's a little bit easier to get this first pile when the target closed. The piles can just go straight into the pile box. Alright. Alright, who's taking the camera? Oh, I got it. Alright, I'll do the uh, tent. There's our peg bag. Right, so if you want to do the, the tent. Yep. And I'll do the ensuite. First, we'll take the guy ropes off. Roll those on. So while Kato's done the tent, I'll do the ensuite. Joker hose.
Yeah, works really good. Got a pair of thongs in there. Yeah. This goes in there. Shower bag. Alright, that's the awning away. Yeah. Got the poles and a pole back. Yep, you didn't leave anything in here, did you? No, I got it all out. Alright. Um, so, oh. we pretty much close that Catch. door. Oh. <laughs> well, <laughs> so we and pull all this uh, awning into the middle here so you don't have to reach around the sides. Got to get the elastic. Put that around. Make sure it's all the way around properly. And you just pull it down. And tuck everything as you're doing it. I'll get this side for you, like. That way it doesn't get written in the way of the rubber seal, so you get a proper seal on it. Push that all in there. Push up to the bottom. And then just chuck the clamps over. That's oh. it. Alright. It's done. Swing the... Yeah, on. Put the on swing in. Yeah. So you get it locked up. Yeah. It's not ready. It's not ready. Yeah. Oh no, I got it Double yeah. security. Yeah. Make sure that stays closed and that's the front done. Alright. See it tucks in there real nice, the ensuite. Yeah. So it just sits on the front there. So now you put All that little away. box, the step, on. Yeah, you jump off there and we'll do that. Oh, yeah. Boxes box has still got room. I've got room up in here. The pipe is going to go on the other side. This is nearly empty, that box there, so I've got heaps of room in there. And I've got still a lot of room in the front toolbox. If you had a swag or something for the kids, you could throw it on top of that. So lots of room still. Here. Oh, what do you got in there? 
Not so uh, great. There's some sheets for the bed I haven't put on yet. Got a few bits and pieces, a full milk pack bag. Lots of room in there. And a little fire belly here I might use. Just to um fire out. All right, keep coming, Cardo. Ready? Wait. Just slow now. Just fight a little bit. Wait. Whoa. Good there? Yeah, we'll push it. All right. Still not. Oh, winch cable. Oh yeah, got it on? Yep. Clicked it on. A little cap on. These little chains on. So like we said before, that's gotta be Chains up. Yeah, Anderson. Yep. How much power did we had before we? Uh, about seventy percent. Seventy percent. So somehow. Carter, can you fill this billy with water at the back? Yeah. Here you go. Just tip it on the fire. Yep. Right. I'll show you a little trick too. With the lights, if you ever find your lights aren't working, your brakes brakes aren't working, these pins, you know, they're not really an off-road type um, connection. So, see how the the pin there is closed up, and these ones are open. Now that one there probably is not a very good contact. And what you'll find is uh, forward driving, a bit of mud in there. So if you just carefully with your pocket knife. Open those up a little bit. Not too much, but just like that. And you can see how they're all open? Yeah. And what that'll do, provide a much better connection, and also it'll it'll stay a lot tighter inside here. Alright? So that's heaps tighter now to push in and way less chance of that coming out. But uh if you find you've got no brakes, no tar lights, that's probably the first thing you do is just split those pins a little bit. Alright, might pump up the airbags a little bit. We're just generally we're going about 75 psi on both, between 75 and 80. And uh, That's about all we need to do for the moment. Alright, so that's good. Pack up the fire pit. Alright. Make sure it's nice and cooled off. Just chuck a bit more on if you don't mind cutting. Hmm, I think we're ready to go. See how the fire pit sits there? I've got the Oz pit at the back here. I've got uh, the Jakaro table here. So, Jakaro, some mats, the fire pit, a little camp oven, Oz pit, and the pizza oven. So, all of me sort of fire cooking gears on this side, and still got quite a lot of room there as well. 
I've got uh, a spare jack and bits and pieces. This is for the rear stabilizers. And so far, I haven't needed to use that really. Probably should put it up, but I haven't worried about it. This is a great little box here. I've got the strap for the uh, awning, chucking on top. And also, I've got uh, charcoal. Underneath that, I've got more straps. These are our new straps that we're making up. So good. I've got one on the back here. All right, so it's really nice army colored webbing. Okay, really well sewn, they're rated. And uh, they've got these carabiners, stainless steel carabiners, right? So you can lock it on, and if a strap ever comes loose, it's not gonna come off, they're so good. And also, a high quality ratchet as well. The ratchets you buy these days, you know, it's very hard to find good quality ratchets. Really good quality, those ones. We're making those in Australia. So we'll have them out as soon as we can. But this is a handy little box here. This used to be where the uh, gas bottle was. But now we've moved the gas bottle to the front for the Julka. We've got a bit of space there, so it's just a handy little box. couple of days mate haven't we again? Yeah. Always have a great time up here and yeah that trailer packed up so easy didn't it? Yeah a couple of new camping spots too we yep. went to. Yeah we haven't camped at those places Is this before. The one no not this one. Way! You're a joke. Going sideways up there. Wait I'll film this I think. I'm good.
No worries. Trail him in a rush? Yeah. Got up fine. I think somebody uh, might have done something to that spot because like usually it was just a big jump on one spot. Oh, I think it's just been worn out more but it's worn more. Yeah, yeah. It's more and more stable. Mm. Yeah, well, we wanted to test this new trailer out on some tough tracks, and uh, I think we've done that this weekend, quite a way. Like, yeah, for sure. We uh, got stuck pretty bad, snapped the winch, needed six and a half max tracks to get out, nearly tipped the trailer, so close to dropping it over. And, uh, you know, we've uh, camped a couple of nights, and uh, as you can see, it just sets up so quick and so easy. The hard shells, the go is rooftop tents. You know, so much better than a soft bag because it just sets up so easy. And um, that walk up front design is just perfect. Kaido slept with me last night. So um, that's a good sleep, wasn't it, Kaido, with that mattress? Yeah, heaps comfy. So much better. You know, if you're going camping and you can have a really good sleep because you've got a nice mattress, it makes so much difference, you know. It could be wet and cold, you know, whatever, drama's going on, forget half your gear. But if you can climb in a bed and you're warm and you've got a really nice mattress, it just, everything, all your problems just are gone, you know. So, you know, it's definitely the go. Almost 200 mils, queen size, hard shell, no ladder. Such a good combination. And then the trailer with the uh, independent suspension. I really love the, you know, the uh, the airbag suspension. It's definitely proven to be, you know, it's definitely a good ride on the trailer. But having that adjustability, we're using that every day. Every time we set up camp, you know, when we're coming through those tough tracks yesterday, we lifted the trailer up a bit to get over some of the obstacles, and we were bottoming out a little bit, so we just lifted the trailer up. We dropped it down in camp. We leveled it up. You know. Just up here, we'll use the compressor to pump the tyres up on the truck. And, uh, you know, such a good setup. Proving nice and stable. Even though we're a high centre of gravity trailer, those twin shocks and the, uh, you know, it's a 1700 kilo GTM, so fairly solid, but with the independent, it's still got a nice soft ride. And there's no body sway, so it's a good setup. And that Red Arc TVMS has been good cut away, like... Yeah, really handy just to be able to see what the solid's bringing in. You can see what exactly what's doing. happening. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely the go. So, you know, it's really quite interesting too, you know. You've got a lithium battery and you've got the solar and you're using power and you can just really see everything what's happening, which is great. And uh, the twin water tanks, like we've all had a shower this morning and last night and we've still got water left over, plenty of water. So it's essential to have those two water tanks for the shower. We've got the little joker there in the front, swings out, opens up real easy. And then we've got the um, that ensuite, you know. We've tried that ensuite in several different spots on the trailer where it bolts on the side and swings out here and there. But the way we've got it now where it closes on the front and swings out the side is just the perfect combination. So, you know, to be able to just pull up it's really no point. I mean, there's a few trailers around. They've got, you know, a hot water shower, but no ensuite, and it's just sort of not much point. You know, you're only halfway there. So having that ensuite, you just folds out, instantly drops down. You've got the hot water there. It's just a great setup. So you know, they talk about uh, camper trailer of the year. You know, we don't enter into those competitions because we're not advertising in the magazines we do our own thing our own marketing and our own advertising so we're not invited to the camper trial of the year but I'll tell you what this thing here if it's not camper trial of the world well, i don't know what is it's just really happy with the setup and i can't see that that's not there's not a better camper trailer out there at the moment so that's what we've come up with no worries thanks very much Pump the tyres up, really handy to use a little compressor in the middle there, so we've been able to pump the front and back tyres up on the truck with the interplate. And yeah, that's it, so yeah, 
the trip. Bit of a wet, muddy trip home, Jake, but that was good. So, tested the trailer out, had a bit of fun, filmed a few videos, showed a heap of stuff. So, uh, we'll catch you all later. Thanks very much, eh? It was perfect double timing. Oh, yeah.